Hi everyone, thank you so much for your interest in our partner program. My name is Chelsea Bolatin. I'm a dedicated account manager here at CorpNet. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use your portal, including how to log in, how to find pricing and information, how to add business entities, check status, and plenty of other features that we offer. So the first thing to do when you'd like to log in is you go to our website, which is just corpnet.com. In the upper right hand corner, you'll notice it says login. You'll click that button and then you'll enter your email and your password. I'm going to be logging into a sample account. So what you'll enter here is the email associated with your partner account, which you used to submit your application or sign up for the program. Once you click submit, you'll notice that it does stay on the home page, but in the upper right hand corner, there is a circle with the person. So you'll click on that and then you'll see that this box comes up. It will show your name and email here. It will show your account manager's name and then a link to their contact information. And then it shows a link to your dashboard, which is where we're going to be going first. So if you click on your dashboard, you'll see that you're brought to the home page for your partner portal. There's a bunch of different buttons here that cover shortcuts for main functions that the portal is used for. Place an order for new business allows you to not only place an order for new business, but also get a quote and find out processing speeds for the specific state and entity type that you're interested in. Place an order for existing business. I'll just go through this with you right now. This is how you can place an order for any company that already exists. So if the company has already filed their articles with their state and they need to add an additional filing, it would be in this section. So this includes a compliance like annual reports, um, dissolutions if they want to close their business, amendments if they would like to make a change to the information on file with the state, S elections can also be done here, which is very popular right now. Reinstatements, you do have to request a custom quote for a reinstatement from your account representative. So if you simply want to get the process started and pay the CorpNet filing fees, you can do that here. Registered agent services as well, foreign qualifications. And then there's a corporate supplies tab, which is for items like our custom corporate binder, um, stock certificates, and everything else that you see here. So the great thing about this section is that once you click on these items to order, a box comes up and it allows you to select company. So any companies that you've already placed orders for will show up on this section. It will also show companies that you've manually added to your account, which brings me to the middle button on the dashboard, which is monitor company slash add new company. You click on this section, you'll see it asks for information about a business entity. It's really, really important to add this information in exactly the same way it appears in the state record. So what I do when I'm uploading a company is I'll have one screen open with their secretary of state record and the other screen with the partner portal. So I can copy and paste everything in. Um, the formation date, it has to match because many states like California, for example, their annual report will be due based on their formation date um, and the file number as well. So this makes sure that their compliance alerts are accurate and that we're completing filings for the correct entity. You'll also notice there's a tab that says import companies. This is great if you have several companies to upload at once. You can do a mass upload through this section. Um, the first step, you download a sample file here, and then you can re-upload it through um, step three. Additionally, if you're not computer savvy or if you just it's more convenient for you to have somebody else do this on your behalf, you can simply download the sample file here, fill it out, and then send it to your account representative, and we'd be more than happy to upload it for you. So back to the dashboard, um, there is a view tax information button. 
which is just recently added because of the uh, high demand for employer tax registration filings. So employer tax registration filings and sales tax registration. At this point in time, if you would like to place an order for that type of filing, it would need to be done through your account representative. So you can simply contact your account representative with the completed order form, um, and then we will place this order in your portal for you. Once the tax registration filing is complete, this section will display all of the information related to the account with the state, if we set that up as part of the filing, as well as any information the state provided us. Check order status is where you can see the status of any orders that you have placed with CorpNet. You will see um, where it is as part of these steps once we received the order, once it's under review, once it's been sent to the state, and then finally once the filing's been approved and we're working on the fulfillment of the final documents and then once it's finished. Additionally, you may want to go back to review a receipt once you've placed an order with us. Um, you can do this in the order section at the very top of the screen. If you click here, you'll see an overview of all the orders that you've placed with us as well as their status. If you'd like to review the receipt, you can click on the details button. That will open up a summary page that tells you the date it was submitted, processing speed, and then if you'd like to see additional information, you can click order detail and it will open a page that's identical to the receipt that was emailed to you when you placed the order. So it'll show you all the information you gave, the address, member information, um, total and payment. So now to go back to the dashboard for entity formations. Um, as I mentioned, you can click the first button when you need to either get a quote or place an order for a new business. So once you click that button, you'll see the first thing it asks for is the entity type. We have LLC, corporation, corporation with an S selection, nonprofit corporation, and professional corporation. As many of you know, there are other entity types besides these. So if you need to do, say, a limited partnership or a DBA, you can contact your account representative for additional instructions on how to place it. We do offer filings for other entity types if they're not listed here. So if you would like instructions, please let us know. We'd be happy to assist you and place it for you. Once you select the entity type and the state and click Continue, You'll see it opens up to a page where it will show the complete package and then it will show the processing speeds and the total. The complete package shows up in the portal even though we offer three different packages because the complete package is the only package that we offer which contains the minimum amount of items that a new entity needs to open a business bank account and have completed internal records. So it is most often utilized by our partners. However, if for whatever reason you would like to place an order for a different package, you can click the CorpNet logo in the upper left corner, which will bring you to the front end of the site, but you'll still be logged in as yourself. So you can place an order for another package. The complete package, it will show you a green check next to all of the things that are included, which is everything needed to open a bank account, as I mentioned. So that includes drafting and filing of the articles, a year of registered agent services, obtainment of the EIN, custom operating agreement in minutes, if it's a corporation that will be bylaws with minutes, and then it also includes a custom kit and seal, which is a really nice engraved binder with a custom seal tool, uh, membership certificates for an LLC, stock certificate if it's a corporation, and copies of all the documents. Another great thing is if you're looking through this section, say you're not quite sure what an item is, like say you're not sure what sales tax registration is. If you click this plus, it'll open up a description of what every single item is. So it's a really good tool if you're not quite sure to get more information. Additionally, the pricing that you see here is the four factors in your partner discount. So all of our partners that are placing reseller orders in their portal receive wholesale pricing, which is designed so that your firm pays CorpNet your discounted rate and you charge your clients directly at any price you wanna choose, uh, charge them. 
So at the very bottom here, you'll see it shows grand total. If you're not sure if this includes your discount or what the state fees are, you can click the plus next to grand total and you'll see the breakdown. So you'll see the corporate net complete package is 249, you're getting a 20% discount. So this is the total corp net service fee as well as the state fees. Shipping and handling covers shipping of the binder, um, any convenience fees that the state collects to use their portal, credit card fees covers all of that. So no additional fees will need to be collected beyond the total fees due. Um, a common question from our partners is what should I charge my client? And that's a great question and it just depends on what you're comfortable with. There's no real uh, yes or you know, right or wrong answer. Um, some of our partners will mark it up $100, some will charge you know, $1,000, it just depends. Um, however, if you're wanting to know what they would pay CorpNet if they came to us directly, you can simply add the amount shown as the discount to the total. And that would be the retail rate, which they would pay if they came to us. Another thing I want to mention is for the add-ons, you'll notice that you can add on the S selection form if they would like to be taxed with an S selection. Um, initial report filing. This, as you'll see if you click the plus, is a report that is due within a very short period of time after the state approves the articles and the entities formed. This is uh, not uh, required in most states. California has it, Georgia has it for corporations, Alaska has it, and I personally recommend whenever you see that there's an initial report to add that on because um, it comes up so quick and many, most of the time your clients will be expecting you to take care of all the initial requirements. And especially in California, a lot of banks won't even open up a business bank account till this is filed. So I definitely recommend adding that on. And initial, um, sorry, annual report would be to pre-order their very first annual report that's due. If you check this box, it adds on our fee listed here, less your discount, plus the state fees for that filing. So if you now look at the grand total, you'll see it shows the corp net fees for both of these filings we added on and then the state fees for each of the filings. Another important thing that comes up very often, very common question is how long is this gonna take? So if you go into your portal and select the entity type and state, you're going to also see the processing speed at the bottom. This processing speed that you see in your portal is specific to the entity type and the state that you've selected and we're constantly updating it to ensure that we're reflecting accurate information based on the state's turnaround time. So this is also a great way to be able to answer that question for your clients if they want to know how long it's going to take. Additionally, um, the standard time is not a guarantee, it's just an estimate. So if your clients are ever in a time crunch where they need it quick, um, I always recommend doing it express so that you can guarantee them that their filing is being prioritized and will be completed as quickly as possible. So once you have selected all of your add-ons that you would like and the correct processing speed, you click the orange continue button and then you'll be on the screen to place the order. It's just this really easy one page order form. The top where it says contact information, this is always gonna be your information because when you're reselling our services, you are our point of contact. We have no contact with your clients. We assume your clients don't know CorpNet exists because you are reselling our services to them as your own. So we take this very seriously. We'll never reach out to your clients. This will always be your information and then everything else is specifically for the company that you'd like to form for your clients. Company information, desired name would just be the name for their entity. Another thing I wanna mention here is please enter this name exactly as you'd like it to be filed. If it's an LLC, please make sure to add the LLC indicator to the end. If it's a corporation, please make sure to add the corporate indicator. While all states do require the LLC indicator, a couple of states, California included, do not require a corporate indicator. So that's why it's best to enter it the way you want it to be. Don't assume we're gonna add anything um, because we do also submit filings exactly the way they're entered in our system to ensure there's no errors. So please make sure to enter this exactly the way your client would like it to be entered.
for company information, you'll see there's a business category drop down, which we're actually phasing out. So um, at the time of this video, it does still exist. So if it's in your screen when you're placing the order, just select other. And then in the box, you can just type in exactly what your client's doing. So you have more freedom to describe it. This can just be a very brief description. Um, actually, the more brief, the better, since the IRS does have a character limit. So just a couple of words describing what they're doing will suffice. Business address, this is just the address where the majority of the business activity takes place. If they don't have a business address, they can use their home. That's actually very common for new businesses. Registered agent information, if you keep this box checked, it means that CorpNet will be listed as the registered agent. They do receive a year of services with this package. Um, if it comes up to the year after the company has been formed and we're still listed as the agent, the service will auto renew to ensure there's no gaps in coverage. It will be at your discounted partner rate, which is 20% off of the 149. So it's $119 partner rate. And it's very similar to L, you know, the way the formation works, everything else, you pay CorpNet your discounted rate, you charge your client whatever you'd like. If your client wants to be their own agent or has another agent that they have utilized their services for, you just check this box and then enter in the information for the agent that they've chosen. Company management, um, this is specific to LLCs. Member managed is most common, so that is automatically checked. However, if your client has indicated they would like a manager managed LLC, you would check this box and then an additional drop down appears in this section so you can indicate whether the individual is just a member, just a manager, or a member and a manager. Uh, officers are here as well. LLCs traditionally do not have officers, so you're more than welcome to leave this blank. If you do enter it in, that means that we will add this section into their operating agreement so they have these signature blocks for each officer position. Tax contact information is the information that we use to obtain the EIN for the company. You don't need to select the title, we just need the name of the person and their social security number and that allows us to get the EIN for the company. Once you've entered all this information in and click continue, it brings you to the final screen, which is the payment screen and the shipping address. So credit card information, the first time you place an order, you'll have to enter this in. After that, there will be a box here that asks if you'd like to use a card that's on file. It will show you the last four digits, so for your convenience, you won't have to enter in that information every time. Shipping address is where we send the custom binder package. This is the one part of the process that can go directly from us to the client if you'd like. The reason is because we ship out this binder package with no CorpNet invoice, no CorpNet branding. So if you did have us send it directly to your client, it would arrive in a box with their company name, all their paperwork, and it would appear as though you ordered it and sent it to them. They would have no way of knowing CorpNet was involved. If you're going to be meeting your client in person, it's a great opportunity to look everything over, meet with them to go over the documents, so you can have it sent to yourself. Just depends on your situation. After you've entered all that in, you submit the order, you'll receive a confirmation, and then if you go back to your dashboard, you'll be able to see the order in the order section and be able to review the status. Additionally, um, there is uh, a way to place CBA orders, as I mentioned, which is through the front end of the site. I'll just go through that quickly since that tends to be common. However, I also want to mention that anytime you want to place an order for something that's not listed here, um, you can either ask your account representative or click this logo to go to the front end of the site and place it through there. Um, DBAs, trademark applications, are examples of two things that can be placed through the front end of the site. So for DBA, once you click the logo, you're back to the front of the site, but you're still logged in as yourself. You would click Start a Business Now. And then under Business Type, you'll see there's some more options that show up here. So you can select DBA, select the state, click Get Started, and then you'll see it gives you the pricing, 
um, once you select the county. We always include publications if it's a requirement. Once you click Start Order, you'll see on the screen that you're already logged in as yourself. So that's how you can place orders uh, for items that aren't in the portal while still in your partner account. And whenever you're in the front end of the site, and if you want to go back to your dashboard, you'll notice there's a My Account button right here that will take you back to your dashboard. So that is a brief overview of some of the main features of your portal. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact your dedicated account representative, or you can also email us to partners at corpnet.com or give us a call during business hours, which is 7 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday at 805-449-2638. Thank you again for joining us. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out. We look forward to working with you.